Hey geeks, today was the start of Long Beach Comic Expo, and uh, I got the chance to hang out with our newest contributor, Luke Luzo. Uh, he's going to start doing Cosplay Corner with us and talking to us about his cosplay, uh, his acrobatics, his dancing and everything. We got to do a, uh, had a chance to do a little interview with that today. So without further ado, let's go into uh, Luke's introduction. All right, so I'm here with our newest contributor. I can't even speak. Our newest contributor, Luke Luzo. So, Luke, we've been talking with you. You were on the podcast recently. You're going to start doing some uh, video contributions. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know we talked about it on the podcast, but um, mainly we kind of want to see some things about how you get ready for it. Why don't you give us a little bit of the rundown, and maybe we'll do a couple of acrobatics here. Okay. Um, well, I'm from Sacramento. Uh, I got into Spidey stuff because um, I'm a dancer and it seems pretty natural for me because the acrobatic movements and all the, uh, just the way you pose, it just seems right for me because my body's back and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, to get ready to cosplay, I spent about an hour stretching in different Spidey poses and um, I do a lot of hanging, so if I'm in a garage and just hang on top and I'll just do a couple pull-ups or just hang for about 30 seconds at a time so I feel like my, my grip strength is real nice. Because if I'm doing it on a convention and I'm on a big beam or something, I can't, I gotta make sure I can hold it. Yeah, like we were just taking some pictures of you hanging on that beam outside. Oh, yeah. We'll have those on the site here coming up. Um, but basically what you're going to be doing with us over the course of, you know, once every three to four weeks is uh, doing little videos on kind of how you do prepare for that and, and uh, you know, some of your dancing and some of those workouts and stuff like that. Hopefully some of the workouts in the costume. Hopefully in a couple minutes here we'll get a couple of flips or something. Um, but uh, what are some of your ideas for that? I know we've been chit-chatting about it. Why don't you give us a rundown of some of the plans and stuff that are in your head? I've been putting together a routine I do uh, for Spidey, it's called my Spidey workout. And it's how I get ready like the week before a convention. Mm -hmm. And every night it's about a 30 minute workout. Um, one of my favorites is the Spidey push-up. It's just uh, three fingers instead of, uh, well, that's the easiest way because then you're putting a lot of pressure. I can show you right now. Yeah, yeah, show us. Yeah, so you get that pressure right that there. That puts all the pressure so that if you're hanging on something, that pressure is indented. Okay. I can handle it. Now I have big old houses. They're ready for it. Yeah, see, these are all the things we're really interested in on, on getting uh, information out to people on our new cosplay corner. Um, so I think we've introduced you pretty well. Um, why don't we get, uh, you know, why don't you, we've, we've got a little bit of room here. If you got a, a, a chance to do a couple little things, do you want to, yeah. Well, if I do a flip, my face Your face scan come comes off. Yeah, whatever you can do with it on. I'm going to step out of the picture. Let's just get uh, Luke. I'm going to do a tour jeté and then I'm going to do it into a body roll. Okay, perfect. You, you heard them back there, they said Spider-Man's a dancer, so obviously they uh, they recognize some uh, dancing moves. Yeah, well, uh, earlier I was uh, battling a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dance battle? Yeah, but it, 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 it gets to the point where I always find a move that will throw myself apart because I don't know my limitations of my costume. With the mask and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah it's got to be tough peripheral wise inside there and everything. It's got to be hot for you. You've been in there all day. I, I've, I've been in here for about six hours. Oh. So yeah, it gets hot and then I keep posing and craziness and... And then, so we'll talk again tomorrow and what, what are you going to be wearing tomorrow? You're going to be wearing your amazing... I'm going to be wearing the, the hybrid suit and okay. then for three hours and then I'm switch to this one. Oh, you're going to switch back to, back to the... the I'm going to do three hours and then three hours. Okay, so everybody, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we're here at Long Beach Comic Expo. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, Luke's different suit. Maybe talk about a couple more things and uh, we'll see you then.
All right, so we're back. This is day two of Long Beach Comic Expo uh, for Geeks with Wives. We've got Luke. How are you doing, Luke? I'm doing pretty good. Did you get some sleep last night? Uh, I got six hours. Six, six hours. So that's if you divide it by two, you had about three per night. If you, yeah. if you, if you since you didn't sleep the night before, you you drove all the way in, right? Why don't you tell us a, a little bit? So this your dedication to cosplay. You drove in. You... I left at midnight from Sacramento, and I got oh here around 8 a.m. So that's with traffic and everything, and then. I uh, had a couple Red Bulls, did the con, went back, to passed out, woke up again, had to fix my suit up for You forgot day. the fajitas. Oh, yeah. We had fajitas. Yeah, we that's, had some awesome fajitas last night. That was the best part of my day because I hadn't eaten in like six hours. <laughs> Good Lord. And then we have Zach with us. So, you know, if you've listened to the podcast and everything, you've heard us talk about Zach. Zach has got a feature coming up uh, this Wednesday, which would be... June the 3rd or something like that. Oh. Uh, yeah, where we, we asked Zach some questions. There's going to be a ton of pictures and stuff of him. So how are you doing, Zach? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm a little tired, but uh, not as tired as this guy. So I'm I know. Tired. Well, yeah. you're, you're a lot more local. You're LA, right? Yeah, yeah. Just up in West Hollywood slash Beverly Hills area. Okay, so what costume are you doing today? So this costume is based on, uh, sorry, this costume is based on the costume from the new Amazing Spider-Man 2 film, the one that just came out in theaters. Um, okay. It's got a little, a few little modifications for comfort and things like that, but that's the basic design base for this one and okay. uh, I worked with uh, this artist or hater uh, who also designed Luke's suit um, he worked with me to make the pattern for it and then I designed the facial and lenses it's actually the same lenses that Luke is wearing uh, just in a different color um, I designed them and then my friend T Jack uh, fabricated them we worked with a, uh, a 3d designer and modeler who printed the lenses and then cast them and then and assembled it yeah they're magnetic right yeah Can you, yeah let's so they pop off and, and they're they're magnetized on and there's a lot of spider-man around here and obviously not as quality of suits and then it, it comes down to your 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 shield and, yeah, yeah. and the stitch and a lot of different things what what are the name me two things two top things that kind of that you try to do to stand out from the other cosplayers i'd say uh in terms of standing out the two things you'd want to do is attention to small details so things like the color and the stitching on your suit where it all comes together cohesively and the other thing is your body position and the way you carry yourself a lot of people just kind of stand around and do whatever. I'm not doing anything interesting right now, but yeah. if you can perch on things or move in a certain way that reminds you of the images from the comic book, yeah. that will carry a lot further than just what you're wearing. Like, it means a lot to people to see the thing in real life that they saw. Yes, and you and I have talked a little bit about that to where, like you said, the images in the comic book. Why don't you show us a few of your, because you have some real iconic Spidey poses that you just <laughs> get into. Why don't you, I, I don't want to be in here, just show it. Just, you, you have some great little stances. The problem is you really want something to be on top of so that they can have the angle down well, on Even it. just down to your stance. I mean, when you stand, you have, you have, yeah, I mean, every, you have everything down. As much as you can make like the base that you're on small or extended like Luke's doing right now, then that makes you seem less human and more like a spider. So any, any angles, any like elbows, knees, everything out as far as you can or in as close as you can. And the other one that's common is that one. There's a lot of variations that people do before, like that. This is one where people can wear it. You can do it on the That's a really common one, too. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's very cool. All right, guys, so we've had an amazing time with you this weekend. So we're going to have a bunch of pictures on the website. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. And uh, you guys got any last words? Do it. <laughs> Excelsior. Uh, all right. We'll catch you next time.